In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the saving $1 million for a retirement calculator. Now, our very first point that we have here is producing savings for retirement is an important part of life. Now, I believe this to be very true. However, there's one point that I want to make. I don't believe that people who are approaching the time of retirement are doing a very good job as to preparing for that. And that's what we'll talk about a little bit further. Now, many view the $1 million mark as a very good goal for retirement. So for some people, this may be too little, and for others, this may be way too much. And you have to kind of decide what is best for you. Uh, many view the $1 million mark, as I said, as a goal for retirement. Um, create your retirement plan as early as possible. So this is one thing that I believe is very important. This kind of goes hand in hand with what we talked about just a couple seconds ago that many people aren't doing a very good job at that and this is some way that we're able to kind of look at our retirement in the future by using this calculator and getting some information as to what it takes um, based on current things that you're doing in your life so the next point there use the mech money one million dollar savings calculator this is how we're able to see how close we'll be to saving one million dollars which is this uh, this kind of goal that everyone has um, if your goal is $1 million, determine what you need to do to achieve it. So if you're not achieving it and that's what you want, then you're able to change the way that you're doing things in order to make that more achievable. So let's take a look at a couple of examples and see how the mech money uh, calculator works. We can hover over the financial calculators, go to the savings calculator, and then we're going to select the $1 million savings calculator. So once we have that selected, we'll arrive back at that page that we saw and we're gonna go ahead and enter the information. Now I'm gonna drag this over to the other screen so I can see it. So our current age for the first example was 50 and then we're gonna have $1 million by 60 and then our current investments uh, are gonna be 600,000 and then we're gonna be saving $10,000 yearly and we're expecting to have a yearly return of 6%. Now 6% is generally what I would say is um, on average. If you're selecting a number between five and seven, that's a very good target for most typical index investments. So let's go ahead and hit our how much money will I have button here. So this just essentially runs the calculator. Um, once it's run, it gives you some information here. So at the age of 60, you will have 1.2 million dollars saved for your retirement or whichever else you wish to use it for. So our current investment amount was 600,000 and our yearly savings was the $10,000. Your expected rate of return, it says here, is right on target for a healthy, balanced, and diversified portfolio. So that's exactly what we were talking about with the index investment. So now let's move on to our second example. So we saw the first example here. We're going to actually hit, we're going to hit that. It's going to be about $1.2 million, which is very good. So our second example, we're gonna look at current age of 30, 1 million by 55, current investments 150, and yearly savings of eight with expected returns a little bit more conservative at 5%. So let's go ahead and look at that. We're gonna change the numbers, 30, 55, and then we have eight, one, two, three, yearly savings with 150, one, two, three, and we're looking at five. So let's go ahead and run that. We hit the calculate button and we get our printout. So unfortunately at the age of 55, we will not yet hit our $1 million mark. However, if we were to wait until age 58, we would have $1.05 million saved for your retirement. Uh, your expected rate of return per year is right on target for a healthy and balanced diversified portfolio. So that's still hitting the five to seven. But in this case, it's a little bit different. We know that we're not gonna hit it according to this calculator. And that's based on our current parameters. So if we are okay with the age of 58, then of course we could change our calculator here. We can put the 58 in and rerun it and then uh, it'll work out. At the age of 58, we'll have that, that amount. So that works out for us. However, if we are not okay with it and we do want to maintain 55, then we have to change something. So then we can go ahead and reiterate. So then maybe we have to change to 10,000. When we add $10,000 of savings per year, remember that's per year, and it starts at the very end of the first year, we're still not going to hit our goal if we only have 
$10,000 saved. So maybe what we need to do now is look at our expected yearly return and go from 5% and we need a, a more aggressive 6%. So 6% is still pretty typical and we should still see this message just like we have in the previous attempt. So at this point, we're now at the age of 55 gonna have 1.192, so it looks good. So maybe now we can reiterate the, the yearly savings. If we take it back down to 8,000, we're okay, we're still crossing that $1 million mark. So we just need to be maybe more aggressive than we originally thought in our expected yearly return, and then we're able to hit the $8,000 of savings per year, as well as the current investment amount of $150,000. Um, now that's gonna work for us. Now what happened if we were trying to be really aggressive and go for like a 10% based off of only a $2,000 um, savings per year? So at the age of 55, of course, we're gonna you know blow this out of the water because our amount of expected yearly return is very high, but it also gives us a warning that our expected rate of return per year is much higher than a typical and balanced and diversified portfolio. So it just says to us that this is more difficult to achieve, essentially. That really completes the, the whole entire savings calculator. So if you're looking for more videos on index investing, savings, and ETS, make sure you invest in that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.